understand what is PISA. So PISA is a program by OECD and this is for assessment of students internationally. 15 year old child is assessed for the basic skills of reading, mathematics and science to meet the real life challenges and the real life problems. Now, in 2022, there are two important editions, which is mathematics and creative thinking. In 2025, it would include science and foreign language as well. And there is this exam, which is conducted every three years across the various OECD nations uh, globally. Now, when we focus on the concept of uh, PISA, what are the major features? The first is it is a system level assessment. It is policy oriented. It monitors the uh, key learning objectives of an individual. How well the subject knowledge of a candidate is there, whether they can focus on the skills by the end of compulsory schooling and learning. So it is not just the student who is assessed, but also the schools are assessed based on it. And this has a data which is obtained from wide range of countries and therefore requires numerous inputs. The first cycle started in 2000 and since then the students have been focusing on uh, questionnaires and interpretation through PISA which is done. So this PISA framework in 2012 focused on students classroom schools and countries on three parameters of input process and outcomes. However in 2015 and 18 it was mainly teaching learning policies of schools and governance and focusing on metacognitive outcomes through the student uh, subject related topics and the general topics which are covered. In 2021, this has further been bifurcated into different heads under domain specific and general constructs for a student background, the attitude, beliefs, the practices of teaching, the school practices and the governance systems in the school. So there are questionnaires for the students and then certain questionnaires for the school as well and then these can be domain specific which are based on teaching practices for school practices the governance in the school or they can be asked on general construct and they are constructed with school questionnaires they are constructed these are constructed with the students and school questionnaires and these are exclusively for students so that's the difference in 2022 we are talking about various components which is mathematics creative thinking financial literacy uh, ict then we have questionnaires as some of the important components coming on to the major components we have creative thinking under creative thinking there are individual enablers social enablers and achievement uh, so we need to understand the goal cognitive skills tasks and collaboration the cultural norms and the creative expression so creative expression can be written or visual and problem solving can be scientific or social in nature then we also talk about this written expression which has diverse ideas visual expression usually has creative ideas uh, social problem solving and scientific problem solving helps to evaluate and improve the ideas coming on next is the integration of mathematical and financial literacy under mathematical literacy we talk about relationships space uncertainty however under financial literacy we exclude arithmetic pro uh, processing so it is related to money transactions planning and managing finance now under mathematical it includes interpretation evaluation employee and formulation and then there is reasoning now if we understand this in depth we would say it would focus on quantity uncertainty changes in space so the 21st century skills focus on all these parameters which could be challenges in the real world context so mathematical literacy would include creative thinking creativity inquiry self-direction uh, communication and reflection and this could be used in the personal context it could be used in social context scientific context and much more and then finally we talk about the ICT so under ICT we assess the quality of resources the use and the instructional practices so how students cognitive performance is governed by it the competencies and the well-being of the students the country level system the school level system the teachers and the students and the policies across them so those were some of the important things that we have understood under the PISA 2022. We would be covering many further interesting lectures on the same. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Very good luck for your upcoming net examinations and we would be covering many further interesting topics for your net higher education. Wish you good luck.